Media.com. All right, welcome back to the Pentar LA01N booster pump series. We're on part five now. We showed you how to remove the impeller, how to remove the wet end housing, how to remove the base, how to remove the front cover. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be removing the through bolts and we're going to be removing the wet ends. I mean, not, not the wet ends, the end bells of the motor. That way we can remove the armature and change the bearings. So if you have a Pentar booster pump and it's making noise or if it's leaking, don't freak out. We're showing you right now how to completely rebuild it. Also, all parts are available at pumprepairmedia.com. And make sure you give us a thumbs up on the videos. And also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to be using this, uh, this nut driver root through off. What I like to do first is I like to take a center punch just like this. And I like to use a hammer. And Oh, I dropped the hammer. Okay, so there you go. I have to use a center punch like this. I'm going to use a hammer, but I can't. Let me see if I can grab another hammer. But I'll use this rubber mallet for a second. That would work, too. I'm just like make some, a couple marks on the motor, right? Like that. Okay. That really isn't working. Let me grab this other hammer here. Hold on one second. All right. Sorry about that. I had to grab this hammer. Who cares? Okay, there you go. So we make a mark on the front of the motor, and then a mark on the casing, right across from that mark. So you can see that. So when I put it back together later, you'll I can know where my markings were. Okay. And then one on the back here, just like that. All right, so now once I do that, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my nut driver. Well, first I'm gonna remove my water sling, okay? So if you're wondering what this washer is here, this is called a water sling. It goes on the shaft. Uh, basically, it's supposed to stop the water from going into the motor if the seal goes bad. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. Okay, so just remove that off the shaft. Now what you want to do is I'm gonna move my Gatorade bottle on the way there. Okay, I'm gonna take now uh, my nut driver and I'm gonna loosen up the four through bolts that are in the back of the motor. Now, if you're wondering what a through bolt is, they're bolts that go all the way through the motor from front to back to keep the motor together. So you can see here, now I'm just loosening up these, these through bolts. There you go, that's one through bolt out like that. See, it goes from front to back, just like that, and holds the motor together. Now you've got four of them inside the motor. You wanna loosen all four, and then once we loosen all four, we can pop the motor armature shaft out and show you where the bar bearings are. All right, so there you go. There's number three, and we're gonna go to number four right now. All right, and then I'm, when I come back, I'm gonna have the fourth one out, and then I'm gonna show you how to remove the end bolts. All right, remember, all parts are available at pumprepairmedia.com. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. When I come back, I'm gonna show you how to remove the armature shaft. Thanks for watching, peace.